Hey, good morning, everybody. Hope you are all well. Going to give this a couple of seconds just to go live. So this is the weekly reading for the week ahead. So as usual, I have picked lots of cards just to see what we need to know, what energies are available to us and how we can best use these energies to help us to move forwards, create change and all of those different things. So I have quite a few cards today that I was drawn to pull. So I am going to start with, let's start with the bloom. This is the first card that came out. Okay, do excuse gardening fingers. So the bloom is very much about that time of, of harvest when the rose is in full bloom. It's shining at its best, let's say. So this is the right time to harvest different things. We're also um, going into the full moon in Sagittarius tomorrow. So full moons are also about harvesting. Okay, um, it's definitely a time to celebrate um, as well. And it's the right time to really start moving forwards and really start um, making the changes that you want to see. And as the Sagittarius full moon comes in, it is very much about change as well. So this is a time where you start to see creations realized. Okay, so there's some beautiful energy coming in from the rose. The second card that came from this deck is the breathing rose. Heart healing, emotions, connection and time eases. Okay, so this is a really, really beautiful card. And heart healing keeps coming up. It's something that came up for me um, a lot as I went through this journey. And I've got something really, really exciting coming around um, heart healing that is going to that i'm going to release when i get back from the uk in a couple of weeks so um and it's all to do with roses as well which is really nice so it's nice that this card um has come out because the rose can really help us to heal our heart so look at the emotions that are coming up around you full moon illuminates everything that we need to see it illuminates our shadow side okay so if there's certain emotions that are coming up this is the time to work with those to release them to heal them um, and to free yourself from uh, any negative emotions that are holding you back um it is also a good time to make connections um as well in your life so they're from the rose oracle okay doors are opening up this is from a different deck so doors are opening, you decide rewards and wild card. So doors of opportunity are opening up for you. Okay, so it's important that we take that step, that we, you know, take that leap of faith. The Sagittarian um, new moon, full moon is all about taking that leap of faith, right? Making change. So doors are opening for you, but it's not enough for doors to open. We have to walk through right so it is of course your decision so this is a time for you to decide what it is that you want moving forwards how do you want your life to be different what do you want to change in your life the energy is there to help you to do that and also the full moon is going to illuminate that if we think about um the full moon it's the sun's reflection okay and what's happening is it's reflecting our shadow side and the things that need healing okay so this is a really really good time today tomorrow and the next day to do a full moon meditation to really see what what wants to be changed what's ready to be released in your body what's ready to be released in your heart so there's some heart healing um here that can be done to help you to move forwards and connecting in um, with the first card, the bloom, we have achievement coming up. Okay, so effort plus intention equals achievement. So anything that you put effort into, if you put effort into your dreams, your desires, your wishes, then you're going to see the achievement that you want to see. But you have to put that effort into um, your desires in order to manifest them into reality okay and that's really really important we can plant something new at this time although you know we normally do this at the full moon sorry i get my moons confused today we normally do this at new moon 
okay i've got full moon on the mind um we normally you know plant something new at the new moon but with sagittarius being in um the full moon or the full moon being in sagittarius um at this time it is all about you know doing doing things differently doing something new doing something um out of the ordinary unexpected you know transformation all of those different things so you can plant something new right now you've got a full moon here in the picture um as well so it is time to connect into the earth as well you know earth the earth can provide us with everything that we need okay from healing to relaxation tranquility so many different things the earth is there so you know, try and spend some time out in nature this week under the full moon under the sun whatever feels right for you for me personally i always try to go to the beach on a full moon um because that's where i feel most relaxed so if you can get to the beach on the full moon tomorrow um you can use today and the day after the full moon to do full moon rituals okay you've still got the full moon energy going on so you know ask what do i what do i need to change because when we're changing something sagittarius is the sagittarian energy is very much about change and transformation and when we want to change something we're bringing something new in okay so it's nice that this has come up um as a confirmation that you can plant something new you can plant a new habit you can plant a new idea at this time okay so trust the timing okay so as i said you know the when we plant something new we normally do it at new moon but this is confirmation that this is the time to also plant something new so trust the wave you came on time is not running out so if you're someone that um really feels like time is not on your side that you're always running out of time um it's important to remember that you know that there is um not really a thing um of time you can use different affirmations like time is always on my side or time is an illusion or um time works with me um i can't think of any off the top of my head but you know there are affirmations that you can use to help um time to work on your side so this is definitely a time to trust what's going on around you um and again the, the sea is here so if you're drawn to go to the sea on this full moon or around this full moon then definitely do that okay so we also have star family you're part of a team of souls call in support so if you're feeling that you need support right now remember that you are part of a soul family and that soul family is um around you star family as well if you're a star seed then you're also going to have that community around you so this is a time to ask for help and support we're being shown that transformation and change is coming and is vital right for us when we go through change having a support team in place is really really powerful you know whether that's your church a coach a mentor your friends whatever it may be have that support around you okay because that's really really important so really really beautiful card this one okay so you have got support around you ask your guides your your spirit animals your spirit family whoever you need to ask support from they're there your angels are there around you as well so do remember to tap in to them okay so we also sorry my table's wobbly today which is a bit annoying um we also have the ancient grandmother okay which is the teacher i am the teacher that leads with self-knowledge okay so this is a reminder that all the wisdom that you need already lies within you okay so this is the time to turn your knowledge into wisdom this is the time to really connect into your your own energy to connect into your intuition and to connect into your own inner knowledge okay you are here to teach that knowledge to others as well in the form of a teacher also really drawn to ancestors when this came up okay so maybe there's some ancestral work that needs to be done to help you to gain all of that wisdom and all of that knowledge from your ancestors okay so various different ways um, of doing that an akashic record reading is a great way 
to call in that wisdom and that energy from past life and from ancestors um, as well to really help you move forwards in this lifetime. So lastly, we have the sun, which is very much about self-expression. This came up last week um, as well. So this is about embodying trust and it's about how you express yourself in the world. So as it came up um, two weeks running, there's obviously work for us to do here. Okay, so look at how you are expressing yourself in the world. Um, are you being true? Are you being authentic? Are you um, expressing yourself authentically? Okay, so the sun has come up. And as I said, the sun is going to reflect to create the full moon. And that is going to illuminate the things in us that need changing. Okay, and lastly, we have the energy of Sagittarius. So it is a Sagittarian full moon. Sagittarius is all about optimism, exploration, exploration and freedom. Okay, and I think we all want to create more freedom in our lives. You know, freedom to work where we want to, when we want to, you know, and do some of the things that we want to do. But also, um, you know, as I said, the Sagittarian energy is encouraging us to, <coughs> sorry, open our minds to new perspectives, to new experiences um, as well. Um, and, you know, I like routine. I like to know what I'm doing and when I'm doing it and all of those kind of things. But the Sagittarian energy is kind of telling us at, at this time to let that go so that we can experience something new. So this is a time to almost like throw everything up in the air and be unpredictable, right? Because it's only when we create maybe a little bit of chaos or disruption or, um, you know, that kind of energy that we can find new connections, that we can see everything that we have missed, okay? So Sagittarius... Um, energy also as I said earlier likes us to take a leap of faith okay um, and with that we need to trust that the the best of what we want is going to unfold okay so um, this is definitely a time that you can ask yourself how can I shake things up a little bit right um, and step out of your comfort zone and align with the energy of hope um, to clear away all of those fears, um, perhaps all those self-judgments and all of those different things that we t tend to place on ourselves. So there's a lot of energy um, this week to work with. So let me know how this reading resonates with you. Let me know what you're going to do to celebrate the full moon. Okay, and if there's any healing that you need to do, then, you know, do let me know if you want to write it in the comments. Obviously, the group is private, but the um, I do put it on YouTube, so just be aware of that. Okay, um, and let me know how your week goes. So I hope you have a fantastic week, and I look forward to connecting with you again next week. Ciao for now.